My name's Dave Lowe, I'm Managing Director of ORTAC and we're at our Guildford House site, which we know as ORTAC 2. ORTAC is an extruder of uh, automotive cables. I bought the business in 2016 with my wife Sally. We're based here in Macclesfield in the, in the Cheshire Heartlands and you know, we're really proud to be a UK manufacturer. What we found to the end of 2020 was the UK and global supply chain had collapsed and there was an opportunity in the marketplace for people to try the ORTAC products. Once we put that product into the marketplace, people realised, wow, this is, this is you know, good or better than, than our competitors. And we saw growth that was just unbelievable and, and to a certain extent became uncontrollable. We had to invest in a new site. It was always going to have to be two sites. The, the dilemma we had is how do you split that operation? And for that, we needed to bring in some expertise. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a projects engineer here at the Virtual Engineering Centre and I work with uh, 3D modelling and 3D virtualization. At the VEC we have two different types of scanning cameras. We use photogrammetry and we've also got a LiDAR scanner. So the LiDAR scanner uses laser to get accuracy and fine detail and the photogrammetry scanner takes pictures and then knits them together using AI tools. So we went to the current site and scanned it including all of their equipment and the, the whole space, mapped out all their workflows and then we took the scanning cameras to the new site, mapped out that whole place, and then imported both into a 3D virtualization suite, and then reconstructed their working site uh, in the, the new site, and simulated the space as if it were going to be set up for their new working structures. I think going into the project, it was my first thoughts as it was gonna be you know, a piece of paper and a pen and this is how we're going to map it out. The opportunity to use digital was something I'd not really thought of. The beauty of the way that uh, c &W did it is we could turn it into what I described as a, as a video game. So rather than a flat piece of paper, it was something where we could actually plug and place and play with it live. And, and that for me was the most logical thing to do. It created pace, it created energy, yeah, and it gives give us an opportunity to vary things through the project and through, and through the build. And that for me was exactly what we needed. Reality was delivered on the 3rd of January 2023. So that's all the hard work that had taken place in the previous month actually came into a live functional factory. The work that was done with CNW has, has allowed us to deliver that.